Mike Yo, it's Joel Sabino here, and I'm here at London Gatwick's North Terminal, about to catch a flight on EasyJet's Airbus A319 down to Lyon in France to start my ski holiday. Of course, this is just going to be a standard economy seat with no premium uh, things paid, so if you want to know how EasyJet are on a holiday flight like this, in the ski season, right at the end of the ski season, then this is the video for you. Enjoy the EasyJet use both the North and South Terminal here at London Gatwick. Which one you depart out of depends on your destination. Lyon is a North Terminal destination, so of course that's where I am at today. The North Terminal is the newest of the two terminals and was opened by the Queen in 1988. It is served by a lot of airlines, with the main ones being EasyJet, Tui and WestJet. You cannot miss EasyJet's check-in area. It takes up a massive majority of level 1 and is bright orange. It is fully automated, which I find amazing, and it does help to reduce queues. Security is located on the second floor up the escalators. One thing I have to say about Gatwick is I've never had an awful experience in the security. I find they manage the people really well here and security only took 5 minutes with hardly any queues at all. Once through you walk through a huge duty free area. The main pre-departure area at the North Terminal is quite dated, but has a very good selection of shops and restaurants. We stopped over at Weatherspoons for some breakfast. After I'd finished breakfast, we made our way to our gates. Gatwick offers good views of the airport. Here you can see a JetBlue A321neo and a WestJet 787. Today's gate was miles away in this strange area I had not seen before, however we did board on time from gate 55C. Today's aircraft is Golf Echo Zulu Alpha Oscar, a 16 year old Airbus A319 delivered to EasyJet in May 2006. Today's aircraft is fitted with the older seats and cabin, they may not look very nice but I actually find them to be more comfortable than the newer ones. EasyJet's newer cabins feature much thinner seats with a lot less cushioning which is a shame but they're okay for a short European flight. I am just in one of EasyJet's standard seats today. The legroom is 30 inches which is a bit tight even for me and I'm not too tall. You can pay extra for an extra legroom seat however at the front or in an overweighing exit. These come at quite a higher cost however. The manager for today's service. Just got a few bits and pieces to uh go through, sign the weight and balance of the aeroplane off once that's done. We close all the doors and then we'll speak to air traffic control. As you're aware, it's uh, the holiday time at the moment, so it's very busy here at London Garrick. So the earliest we can push back our stand is in just over 10 minutes, so on our scheduled push back time. The pilot was right. We pushed back right on time and started our taxi to runway 08 right. A very warm welcome for this EasyJet flight to Lyon with a flight time of around 1 hour and 10 minutes. I'd like to extend a special welcome to EasyJet Plus card holders. My name is Helen and we can manage on today's flight. Also, do have a fantastic team of Eva, Jo, and Candy. We are here for your comfort, most important, your safety.
know, it's just they didn't have these models. Oh, here we go. EasyJet was founded in 1995 and as of current date has a fleet of 318 aircraft with their fleet consisting of A319s, A320s, A320neos and A321neos. They have a wide range of routes to all different destinations across Europe including summer holiday flights and ski season flights as well as a lot of regional flights. The routing for this flight will take us immediately south out of Gatwick and we will leave England over Brighton. We will cross the channel cruising at 29,000 feet before entering France over Saint Martin. We will cruise over Paris before starting our descent into Lyon. Gatwick is quite close to the coast and before we knew it we were already leaving England. This is about when the service came round. I had already eaten at the airport, so I only ordered a Diet Coke. Here is a view as we pass over Paris. You can clearly see Chardigal Airport and some of Paris itself. Not much else really happened on this flight, so we're going to cut the descent. I would just like to say at this point though, if you are enjoying the video, please consider liking and subscribing. It helps out way more than you can imagine, and I've still got loads of trip reports and other videos to release, so stay tuned for that. We descended very fast and saw a glimpse of the Alps before turning onto the approach. We landed on time into quite a gusty Lyon. Welcome to Leon, where the time is five past, what, five past two. The chemicals surely be released to carry with their safety duties. 
Prepare please to remain seated with the seatbelts fully fastened until the aircraft does come to a complete stand and the signs being switched off by the captain. All personal electronic devices can now be switched on. Please make sure you do take all your personal belongings with you by checking in the seat pockets, underneath the seats and in the overhead lockers. Please take care when over the lockers in case anything has moved and may fall out. Smoking is not permitted as you reach a designated smoking area. Welcome to Lyon after that flight with EasyJet. Sorry about the lack of footage, this was a family holiday, so I spent a lot of the flight talking to my brother and sister. The arrivals process at Lyon was mayhem, with only two desks open. We queued for a good 45 minutes. Once through, we collected our bags very quickly. So then, welcome to Leon off my flight with EasyJet. Certainly not a terrible flight. The seat was actually a lot more comfortable. The old cabin I do find to be more comfortable than the new cabin. Uh, the wider seats do make it more enjoyable. So the AP19 isn't as bad as people make it out to be. Now here with Leon, the experience was absolutely horrific. I didn't really mean to film it, but the queues were crazy. Only two people on the desk, but obviously they could be quite understaffed due to COVID. That's going to wrap up today's video. Take care, stay safe. Check out the blog, check out the blog. I'll see you all soon.